Hey guys, it's Amisha here and this is my very second video and I'm so happy because that is really cool. So yeah, and as you know, probably by reading the title of the video, this is a five DIY cases for your phone because um, every time I go on Amazon or Etsy or whatever, I look up phone cases that I cannot find anything good it's always too expensive or they're not even pretty they're like a lion even though sometimes that is cool anyways back to the topic um that's why i decided to make my own phone cases and a lot of these are inspired by other youtubers so credit to them lisa polano and my life is ava yeah i think so so yeah guys i hope you guys like this video and yeah and i'm so so sorry for making this video late because i know it was so late but i have an excuse and i'll probably tell you guys at the end but i don't want to make it too long so yeah see you hope you enjoyed the video bye okay guys this is the diy rhinestone phone case and honestly this is the easiest out of all of them and it's super simple and does not require much work so first you need a phone case. I chose white because I think it went really, really well with how this is going to turn out. Next, you need E6000 glue. And then you're going to be needing rhinestones. I chose pointy ones because this is completely inspired by My Life as Ava and she used pointy ones too. So next all I'm going to do is basically put on the rhinestones on my phone case without gluing them. Or you could just go ahead and start gluing them from the beginning. Whatever is more comfortable for you. I decided to just go on and <laughs> glue them from the beginning. That was much, much more easier for me and it required less work in my opinion, but whatever you're comfortable with. Oh my goodness guys, it is so cute and it's so tumblery and I love it so much and I'm so proud with how this turned out. It dried super fast and I hope you guys love it too. Okay guys, this is the DIY ombre phone case. First, you're going to be needing a clear phone case. It doesn't have to be hard shell or flimsy, whatever you have works, it just has to be clear. And then, you're going to need acrylic paint. And then, you're going to need basically like a palette. I'm using a Chipotle napkin, so whatever you have works. And last but not least, foam brushes, which is completely important, which will actually give it the ombre effect. Okay guys, so the steps are pretty self-explanatory. First of all, decide on a pattern which colors you want, and is it darkest to lightest or lightest to darkest, whatever you need. Then, you're going to take your first color and paint a light layer of it on the bottom. Take your next color and paint a light layer of it in the center. And then take your next color and paint a light layer of it on the top. Pretty easy, right? Next, to blend it, it's going to be a little bit more complicated. You guys can blend however you want to, but I have a specific way that I blend. So, an easier way to explain is to use an example. So for example, I have blue, light blue, and green. So the way I'm gonna blend my blue and my light blue is take the light blue and put it over the line between the blue and the light blue. Oh my God, I just realized how confusing that sounded. But in the video, as you can see, it's basically just rubbing my foam brush against the lines with paint. And that's all. Okay guys, I love how this turned out. It is so gorgeous and it is totally beachy. It is literally perfect for the summer, and I think it would go great with anything. I mean, you could even spice it up with some glitter, or even put rhinestones on this. Make it your own, whatever you want, customize it, and yeah. Okay guys, this is the DIY Chanel phone case, and I'm not gonna lie, this phone case is time consuming, but it looks gorgeous at the end, so I'm pretty sure you guys should give it a try. So first of all, you're gonna need a white phone case. Next, you're gonna need some pretty pattern cardstock. 
Next, you're gonna need some black pearls. I got mine on a string from Michaels. And then of course, scissors and Mod Podge. And I got a Chanel logo. I resized it on PicMonkey to fit my phone. You also need your phone size stencil because you're gonna need this to cut the size of your phone. So first of all, what you're gonna do is take your cardstock, flip it over, stick your stencil on the back, and then what you're gonna take is an Expo marker, whatever marker you want, and then just start drawing outside of the stencil. Once you are done, you guys are gonna go ahead and cut it. So all I'm doing is taking my scissors and I'm cutting around the phone case, not in the inside, around, because I wanna have more room in case I mess up. All I did was take my cardstock and then put it at the front of my phone case and then flip it over. Then I took my Expo marker and started to draw in the camera hole so I could have a layout for where I want to cut. Now all I'm going to do is basically start cutting inside of this because I want to get my camera hole because you know you want to take pictures obviously. Once you've cut your cardstock you're going to want it to put it on your phone case. So for this I forgot to mention these two items but you're going to need rubber cement and E6000 glue. All I'm doing is putting rubber cement on my phone case because rubber cement holds really well. I think that's gonna work good. All I'm doing is taking my E6000 glue and basically making like a grid out of it on my cardstock because I wanna get the glue everywhere. Once the two items have been glued, put your cardstock on the phone case. And then you're gonna have about 30 seconds before the items dry enough that you won't be able to move them. So I suggest you take this time to reposition it the way you want to. Once the glue has dried a little bit, I'll take my scissors and basically trim off the edges so they're not uneven. So all I'm doing now is cutting my Chanel logo. I want to cut it completely and precise. It's going to take some time, but make sure you do this right. Once you've decided where you're going to put your Chanel logo, take Mod Podge and basically apply it where you're putting the logo. And I know it doesn't look clear, but trust me, after you blend it, it becomes clear. Okay guys, so I know you can't see this, but I'm just putting my Chanel logo on my phone case. And now I'm going to take more Mod Podge and just apply it on top because I want to get that finished glossy effect. So now you're going to need your E6000 glue and your black pearls. And my pearls went everywhere. All I'm doing is taking my E6000 glue and basically lathering up the Chanel logo. This part is actually really easy. All I'm doing is taking my pearls and just lining them up on my Chanel logo and pushing them down to make sure they stay. Okay, and it finished and it looks so cute. I love it so much. Okay, so I cut this phone case out of the video because it was so simple and yes, you're the same phone case. And I'll tell you how to make it really fast because it's so, so simple. So all this is, is cardstock and a clear phone case with a cute tumbler PNG on it. That's it and it's so simple and I made a million of them, so yeah. Okay guys, this is the DIY lace phone case that is completely inspired by Tumblr. First, you're gonna need white flat pearls or regular pearls. Don't forget your scissors. You're gonna need a type of flowery lace. You're going to need E6000 glue. Most importantly, you're gonna need a solid color phone case. I chose a light purple. All I'm doing is taking my lace and lining it up the way I want to. I used a Tumblr picture for reference. Oh, and before I put my lace on, I put some Mod Podge at the back so I could have the lace stick on to be easier to cut. Next, take your E6000 glue, and I know you can't see, but I'm just dotting my lace with my E6000 glue. So I'm just taking my glueified lace and just putting on my phone case the way I want to. Yes, glueified is now a word. All I'm doing is just trimming out the lace where I do not want it to be. Oh no, I forgot to mention to get Mod Podge and a foam brush. I'm just putting it across my lace so it can have a glossy effect and it can stick. Two in one, win win. If your Mod Podge did not hold, then go ahead and put some more E6000 glue under where the pieces are coming off easily. Once your phone case is dried enough, go ahead and take your pearls, excuse my foot, <laughs> go ahead and take your pearls and just line them across the way you want to. They are adhesive, but I'm putting them on with E6000 glue and make them wacky, make them crazy. Don't just put them like 
biggest to smallest, make them really crazy because that's how they look on Tumblr. And I'm just basically going to skip to the end because I failed so much on this because I didn't know how to apply them. And yeah, so I'm just going to skip so you don't have to see me fail. So yeah, guys. Oh my goodness, guys. I love this phone case so much. It is so gorgeous, super tumblery, so amazing. I love it so, so much. I literally cannot even. And I don't know about you, but I think it looks pretty similar to the Tumblr one. And this is my phone case at the moment because it's so amazing. Hey guys, so I hope you guys liked that video. I worked really, really hard on it because um, it took me forever to film this because I didn't have like that fisheye camera holder thingy, so I had to like kind of like balance it on something to make it actually like film the table. So it was really hard. And I hope you guys liked those phone cases and you know, you try them out and everything. And if you do like post a picture of them on Instagram or something, please tag me and like show me how it looks because I love to see that. And yeah, that's, also, that's basically all guys. Oh, and I'm supposed to tell you why this video was so delayed. Well, here it goes. I was gonna film this video, not this video, I was gonna film a video in um, a hotel room about 10 things to do when you're bored in a hotel room. But then my dad, we had like move out a day early we were at like this resort. So we stayed at this resort and what we did, we had to leave early and we couldn't stop in another hotel room. So we basically didn't have a hotel room so I couldn't film the video. And then I was in a slump because I got so mad. I was like, I have to film this video, but I want to do that video. And then I got so mad at myself that I didn't film the video. And then it was just like, horrible. And then finally, I was like, you know what? I need to film this video because I am inspired and I need to do this. And then I decided to do this. And currently I, I think I'm going to be selling some of the lace phone cases because those were my favorite and lots of people said they would totally buy it and all that kind of stuff but yeah guys i hope you like this video and uh, bye i'm recording right now i'm doing the extra i'm gonna call it extra because i'm gonna extra they hard on it Oh okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that video and go ahead and click that subscribe button and follow me on my social media and go ahead and click there for my last video and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you like the phone cases and bye!